Hey everybody, it's Angie, also known as The Light. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to wait till some more people come in. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, yes, my hair is green. Yes, I am the Grinch because I don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> nah, but if you celebrate Christmas, it's okay. Um, but yes, Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving just passed last month, a few weeks ago. Christmas is coming up. New Year's Eve is coming up. So I just say, you know what? Let me come on here. Hi, Nicole. I said, let me come on here and talk to y'all real quick. Sorry, I've been missing in action. I think I have that seasonal depression, basically. That's that's what's going on. Happy holidays to you, too. Even though I don't really celebrate holidays, I still observe New Year's Eve because my mother passed away on new year's eve in 2006 so that's the only holiday i guess you could say i really observe so to say um but i know that it is tough around this time um where a lot of you feel like uh yes it's getting dark that's that's what it is it's it's i'm a i'm a leo i'm a fire sign i love the sun i love being out and about i live in new york city Tomorrow, they're shutting down again. Not shutting down, but they're starting to not let people eat in restaurants. Hi, Char. Happy holidays. And it's depressing. <laughs> you know, you can't really go out and do what you want to do. You got to wear a mask everywhere. It's just been a really, really depressing year. So, um, I am going away. I'll be in Houston for New Year's Eve. Um, I just feel like I just need to be in some southern air and have some southern food and be around my southern friends, so to say. So I am going to do that because um, I refuse to stay in New York. Now, tomorrow, we're not allowed to eat in certain restaurants. So that means that um, at least more than 50% of all the restaurants in New York are going to close because it's freezing. It is, it's winter, so you can't, you can't eat outside. There are some rooftop places, there's some restaurants in New York that have like a rooftop, um, that have like these igloos, they have like, a, um, heaters and stuff, but nobody wants that. You know, you want to feel comfortable, like, so it's, it, it's gonna suck here. Um, you just say, enjoy your trip, Southern food tastes the best. It sure does. It really, really does. Um, so I'm gonna be in Texas for New Year's Eve at least. Things are open there, but I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm not gonna be partying or anything like that because I don't trust that. Because honestly, people don't take care of themselves. And even though I'm not like a huge, I don't. I, I'm not like a huge um, feed into that whole the big C. I still am gonna be careful because I do believe they did release something out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just in case, I'm just going to be with friends and, you know, not too many friends. going to, like, see at least three friends. I'm staying in a hotel. I told, <laughs> I told my god sister I'm not staying at her house um, because she has three children and they already had C. So I don't want to. That means they're too, they're too lenient. So basically. But, yeah, I so said, you know what? Let me get on here, even though I'm in my seasonal depression. Um, you know, December is usually a hard month for me because my mom passed away in 2006. Um, I will. I'll be okay. I made it all the way till December 2020 without getting the C. I am not getting the C. <laughs> you know, I work from home. I don't hang out with people who I don't know very well. And I think I'll be fine. I went to Miami in August. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I'm careful. I don't go into clubs and bars and all that stuff. I don't do that because it's just too many people around you. But um, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Um, and I'm not fearful either. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fearful. I think a lot of people got sick because they were fearful and thinking that they were going to get sick or they believed that they were sick and they got sick. That's what I do think. I think they manifested that shit in their life. Okay. So, I don't know if y'all can see my hair, but my my hair is green. Can you see that, guys? 
People have been calling me the Grinch, but you know, I love it. It's different. But anyway, so I just came on here to let y'all know I don't care how much you miss this narcissist. I don't care if it's your mama, your father, whoever it is. I don't care. And and the good thing is, because of the big C has happened, y'all have an excuse this year to basically disappear on the narcissist, right? So I don't really care who invites you, what narcissist invites you over. I don't care if they're your mama, your father, your best friend. I don't care. I don't care who it is, your ex-lover, whoever. Don't go. <laughs> Get away from them. I was talking to a friend, and um, she happens to live with her narcissistic aunt. And she said, oh, man, you know, this year has been really rough financially. And I don't want to buy gifts this year. And I said, fuck it. Don't buy no gifts. So I'm letting y'all know, don't buy, don't buy anybody no gifts. I understand if you have children, you feel you have to buy gifts. I get it. How about you throw the narcissist for a loop and you don't buy the narcissist shit this year. Don't give the narcissist anything. I don't care if it's your husband or your wife or whoever. <laughs> good. Good, Char. I'm telling you. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Um, do not buy the narcissist anything. I said, you know what? I said to her, I said, don't give the narcissist anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. She said her narcissistic aunt um, always gives her should be gifts. And that's so true. I never had a narcissist really give me nice gifts or I, I'm, I'm not going to say that I've had narcissists give me nice gifts, but they weren't well thought out. So it's either something that is easy to obtain. Um, I told them what I wanted or, you know, they're just buying something expensive to try to impress me to will me back in. Or I've had, um, narcissists give me you know, just shitty gifts, basically. You know, and I've told this over and over. I do have a video on here about holidays and stuff like that. But I, this year, don't get the narcissist anything. I don't even care if the narcissist buys you a car. Throw them off. Get them pissed off. Don't buy them shit, okay? You say you're in NC with them all, so my holidays will be in O. Okay. All right. Um, let me, okay, so guys, do not use Super Chat, because somebody gave me money on Super Chat last time on my live, and YouTube will not give me my money, okay, so YouTube, they are thieves, okay, so do not use the Super Chat, if you want to make a donation to me, if you want to book a conversation, you can do so, but just use my Zelle, my PayPal, or my Cash App, and I'm about to put that information in the chat um because that's crazy so natalie i don't know if you're gonna come in the chat but natalie if you are in the chat um you gave me a donation through super chat last time and youtube did not give it to me so i'm just letting you know that um i was unable to get the money yeah Okay, so let me just put this information in before I keep talking. But yeah, I think I could talk and write this too. So I told my friend, don't buy her narcissistic family member shit. Don't do it. F them. Don't give them anything. Um, throw them for a loop. You, now you this year, you don't have to show up to their ho houses, to their homes. Um, just ghost them, okay? Ghost them. Don't give them anything. <laughs> Yes, you got used gifts a lot. Yeah, and it's so crazy. I remember, I'm 37 now, and I remember I had a friend who had a narcissistic mother. And her father was the codependent. And even her mom was taller than her father, like significantly taller. And I, I remember being like young, like, why does this man let this woman punk him? I didn't know what a narcissist was when I was like five and six years old. But, um, and she, she made my friend, um, the girl, the scapegoat, you know, the, the black sheep of the family. And then her son was the golden child. And she, I remember she used to beat that little girl so bad. It was terrible. And I remember, um, one year I said to my mom, I said, mommy, I want to get 
her a Barbie for Christmas. So my mom was like, yeah. So we went to Toys R Us. We got this nice Barbie and I got like accessories to go with it or whatever the case is. I gave it to my best friend at the time who had the narcissistic mom. And guys, keep in mind, when you're like six or seven, you're never going to think that you're going to get a shitty gift in return, especially with a child. Do you know what her narcissistic mother gave me? So my mother went out and bought a Barbie. Keep in mind, this woman has money. They own property. Um, her mother, we had a store. Our church owned a store, like a vegetarian store. She ran that store. She had a nine to five. She owns two homes. They have multiple cars. Like this woman has money. They were always going on vacations and all that shit, right? This woman <laughs> gave me male tube socks, guys. The long ones, okay? I'm about six or seven years old and she gave me probably some socks that she bought her husband and even my mom was just like, what? That's what she gave you? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Angie. I don't know what my mom did with the socks. This is what these narcs do. They give you shitty gifts, okay? So my friend was even telling me that she had a horrible Thanksgiving. So she had a horrible Thanksgiving. I said, well, what made it horrible? So usually her narcissistic aunt um, in her other aunts they will all get together but one particular aunt will always cook but this year because of the whole big c situation they couldn't um get together so the sister that normally cooks the food the food was trash so instead of the narcissist aunt telling everybody everybody make a dish she said no 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 i don't want anyone cooking you know how controlling the narcissist is right she said she didn't want anyone to start cooking she didn't want anyone cooking for Thanksgiving, and she cooked. Now, you know us black people, when you mess up the mac and cheese, right? <laughs> she said, Angie, the mac and cheese was horrible, horrible. She said, the woman didn't even wash the collard greens correctly. This is the narcissist. They have so much pride. She ruined Thanksgiving food. Nobody ate the food. They're sitting at the table. She said, Angie, I swear I taste dirt still in the collard greens. The mac and cheese had no flavor. It was just cheese and milk. The yams was horrible. The turkey was dry. And I was, it's not funny, guys, but I was cracking up because this is how narcissists are. They're so prideful. They always want to do something on, you know, so they can get the acknowledgement of it. It don't matter if it's a shitty acknowledgement, okay? I remember my narcissistic grandmother, she couldn't cook for shit, guys. Her food was horrible, horrible, horrible. But she swore up and down that she can cook, okay? It was terrible. But I felt bad for my friend. This is just water. Okay, let me put this um, donation and combo booking info. So yeah, so if you want to book a conversation with me, you can do so as $15 um, for 30 minutes, $30 for one hour. Hey, <laughs> hey girl, sit with Key. That's a cute name. Um, yeah, so you can do that. Um, I've been getting a lot of bookings and... I've even had a couple of people have more than one session with me. And I'm not a person that, you know, when you book with me, I'm not trying to just take your money. You know, I want you to get some type of clarity and move on. I like when people come to my channel or people book with me and then they move on. I'm not like a therapist in that sense where I'm just going to give you little breadcrumbs. No, I want you to heal and I want you to, to move on. Hi, I'm so glad all you guys have caught me. I'm very glad. I'm glad I picked a good time. I said, let me get on here before I get hungry for dinner. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you can, if you want to make a donation to me, um, I'm putting my information now. Do not super chat, guys. If you have a question, just put the question in um, 
in the chat. When you come in, can you click like for me too? I would love that. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me see. Also, I also have Zelle and I also have um, PayPal. So if you're going through something and you feel like you don't have insurance, you don't have a therapist, it's too expensive, you can book with me. And I'll probably get you through your sessions in two or three bookings, honestly, or even the first one. Because a lot of times we're just holding on to something so simple. And a lot of us want to hold on to the narcissist uh, when they ain't shit. They don't have anything to offer to you. So, you know, you have to break that mental um, bondage in order to let them go. But I'm telling you, do not spend your holiday... <laughs> with the narcissist I don't care if they try to get you over to their house to their apartment by you know bribing you with a gift or old memories or anything like that you're gonna have to don't go all right don't send no card don't text don't call don't answer them you act like you done fell off the face of the earth okay Oh yeah, but please don't use this um the the um what is it called? Super chat. Don't use the super chat. Let me see. Show. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, let me see. PayPal and Zelle is um the same email address, okay guys? Let me just write this. I wish there was a way I could just speed it up, but I can't. But thank you to those who have um, booked with me. Um, I really appreciate it. And Moses, thank you so much. I did get your um, donation. I also email you guys too. So when you when you send a donation or you send a booking for your convo, there's a memo. There's a memo in PayPal. There's a memo with Zelle. There's a memo with Cash App. I don't want you just sending me money and I'm like, okay, do they want a convo or they just sending me a love donation? So please guys put it in the memo because I'll just get random cash apps and I'm like, okay. And you can't reply on those apps. So I do email you if I see your email address and I thank you, but some of you don't even write me back. I don't know what's going on. I always put a subject. So check your spam. If you send a donation, I don't want you to think that I just took your money in and thank you because I always email you if your email is there. Okay, let's see. But what what are y'all saying? I be trying not to believe in astrology, <laughs> but my last experience with a narcissist, I can't bring myself to stop avoiding a particular sign altogether. What sign is that? Tell me that sign. <laughs> Tell me that sign, guys. This is a rough month, but I know there's a lot of alignments coming up and you know this powerful sh spiritual shift is supposed to oh virgo oh girl i'm ha i'm having issues with my virgo too the guy i'm dating is a virgo and i'm having some issues with him honestly too so this has been a rough month already coming in you know um i don't know what's going on but i refuse to let my joy you know be taken and then i feel kind of like Damn, do I really want to go into 2021 with these same friends? I'm out I've outgrown them. It's just so it's just so much. So much is going on. You know, so much is going on, you know, with with, you know, astrologically and spiritually. It's a lot, guys. There's a lot going on. This December is going out with a bang. But yes, let's get back on topic. But if you do you, I can't stay in August, Virgo women. <laughs> um, um, Virgos could be, you know, difficult to deal with. You know, they could be difficult because a lot of times they're insecure and they beat themselves up. So you're, you're going to get, it's not you, it's just a projection. You get what I'm trying to say when it comes to them? It's a projection. They can't give you the best if they don't feel good about themselves pretty much but 
if you want to talk about Virgo with me, you can book with me. Okay, we can talk shit about Virgos all day. <laughs> I'm dating a Virgo right now, and him and I are even having issues right now. And I'm just like sitting in silence at the moment. But I'm not going to let anyone, Virgo or any sign in a zodiac, ruin my peace. I'm going to just sit in silence, listen to my creator, listen to my own thoughts, and get through it, basically. But yes, please, guys, I beg you, do not buy the narcissist shit. Do not hang out with them. I don't care how horny you are. Yep, I said it. I don't care how horny you are. And a lot of times... When I'm talking to people, they're like, oh, I think I'll never find a freak. I think I'll never find, you know, a narcissist. Uh, nar narcissist. I think I'll never find a man or woman who could, you know, give me the sex I like. That's, no, no, no. You know why you think the narcissist has, like, good sex? <clears throat> because they've starved you of everything else. So imagine, so let me break this down to y'all. So yeah, y'all don't be, you know, sending y'all little booty call texts on Christmas or New Year's Eve or you trying to be under the mistletoe with one of them. I'm going to let y'all know why y'all think the narcissist sex is good. They starve you emotionally, right? So the only time you feel like a real connection with them is when they're, they're sexing you. So it's like they don't give you what you really need they don't they don't feed your inner child they don't feed you emotionally they don't they're not giving what giving you what you need they're not sustaining your emotional state even though you might be giving them what they need right so by the time they kiss you by the time they touch you you it's like your body is craving what they are holding back and this is why a lot of narcs use sex as a weapon okay even i've even had narcs use sex as a weapon as far as withhold sex from me okay i'm not gonna lie i'm a leo i'm a, I'm a sexual person but because i'm spiritual i like to connect with one person basically you know what i'm saying so even though i have a high sex drive i'm connected and this made it very easy for narcissists to lock me in because they like she ain't gonna sleep with nobody and it was true once i'm locked in spiritually and sexually with one man that's it and a lot of us are like that we get we got caught up with the narc so you really think the sex is bomb it ain't even all that i'm telling you and trust me there are other people out there who will be on your freak level and also when you finally get with someone who is healthy and you fall in love and y'all are treating each other well, guess what? The sex is going to be bomb. I'm telling you, nothing beats sex with the emotions, all right? But what you're getting is abuse. So it's tricking you. Your brain is tricking your body into thinking, oh, yeah, this is the best sex I've ever had. No, it's not. Because I'm telling you, it's not. I remember the, the narc that I was with um, on and off for six years. We had parted for a year, and when I went back and had sex with him, it didn't do anything for me. It was almost, it's like an illusion. It's like you have these glasses on. You sway up and down. Oh, the dick is good. The punani. No, it's not. I'm telling you. It makes you, am I saying some of them aren't skillful? Because that's all they have to give anyway. But it's really mental and emotional and spiritual to why you think it's that good. I'm telling you. So, go buy y'all toys, and fellas, get your hand ready with your lotion or your coconut oil, and leave these narcissists alone. Because the more sex you have with them, the deeper um, you're making that soul tie, okay? Get off their social media during the, ho during the holidays. I'm telling you, you go on a narcissist social media during the holidays, and they looking like, oh, they the... Let me tell you something. Oh my god, let me drink my water real quick. Oh, let me see what y'all saying. Oh god, you've been celibate for three years. Girl, God bless you. I can't go over a year. God bless you. Um, the sex is only time only time there is a connection. Exactly. Basically being stars of love, only solution is to walk away. We were basically getting whoever they were with their, um, very mechanical, yes.
it is only your head. Sex is spiritual. Once the veil is lifted, there is no point. Yep. Do narcs feel soul ties too? I think they do. I, I don't think a lot of them are aware spiritually. But I think the spirits in them are aware spiritually what they're doing. Definitely. Um... You know, there's a lot of things that I haven't said. And I said this to one of my one of my um clients, somebody who had had booked with me. Um and she asked me a deep question. I don't like to get into the whole I like to get into the spiritual aspect of it, but I don't want to say something you like, oh she lying, that ain't true. But no. So one time I'll tell this story because I already told one of my clients. Um I um had a soul connection with my ex best friend right and i remember one day i was hanging out with a, another guy I was hanging out with another keep in mind my ex best friend the narcissist he lived in another state okay i live in new york i think he was either living in south carolina florida at the time so um I was hanging out with a guy, and me and this guy, we was making out and stuff like that, and then I left. I left, I was walking down the street, and then I look at my phone, my phone started to ring. I pick up the phone, and I um, I said, hey, what's up? He said, who the fuck are you with? I said, what are you talking about? He goes, I know you're with a guy, I can feel it. And I said, what are you talking, I lied, guys. I was like, this is some scary shit. I, I I really experienced that. Like, I was just, like, looking around. I was looking around the street, guys. I was looking like, is he in New York? Is he spying on me? Does he have uh, some type of detector on my phone, some tracker on my phone? Like, I was like, what the hell is going on? He was just like, I know you were with another, uh, another man. Um, you are to report to me and tell me any guy that you're dating. I need to know everything that you're doing. I can feel it. I know that you're with a man just now and you need to tell me who you were just with. True story. So yes, I do believe narcissists feel whether they are really aware of what the spirit realm is. They know and they are using that ability you got to keep in mind the fastest way into your soul is through sex. And this is why, you know, Satan's workers molest children. They get them early and they turn them into these monsters, okay? By transferring energy through acts of violence and molestation and all these horrible things that happen to us. That's what... Um, entangles us entangles our soul into these mindsets and these behaviors basically are you celibate if you masturbate to porn um i'm gonna say i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say i'm gonna i, I i'm gonna say yes um but some people feel you know through masturbation that you you open yourself up to different spirits basically they claim through masturbation you can open you know open yourself up to spirits through masturbation i don't know i'm not I, and i'm trying to put my business out there i'm not a huge masturbator i've never been i need like physical touch i need a a human being okay it's not something that I do like that. It just doesn't do anything for me. It makes me more frustrated. I need human connection, pretty much. So ties break with no contact, you think? Um, I don't, I'm not going to say that it breaks with no contact because when I went no contact with my ex-best friend, he still held on to his soul tie. Like, he was still in my dreams um, he was still in my daydreams. I would, like, hear his voice. Like, it was really creepy, even though I let him go. And that went on probably for about a good year. It went on for about a good year once I released I released him, but he was not ready to release me. So I'm not going to say just because you go no contact, automatically your soul tie is um, disconnected from the narcissist. That's I don't think that's true. What I had to do, I, I'm a spiritual woman, so 
they have things called spiritual baths. So I had to take a spiritual bath. I did a cutting cord. You can look this up on YouTube. Cutting cord prayer. So you write the person's name. I released this person. You know, I wrote it on a paper. I burned it. I did it again. I buried it. Like, you know, some people may consider that witchcraft. But that's what I chose to do. And it worked for me. You know, and I prayed about it. Like, get this person out of my heart. Out of my mind. Out of my soul. That's how I released him. And it took time. There, was, there were days where I was, like, hearing his voice. And, like... Feeling him in my spirit. And then on top of that, if you're an empath, you're definitely going to feel these individuals heavy. And I think that's what makes people text them or call them. That makes, that makes people want to go back and talk to these individuals again. You know what I'm saying? Um, so no, there's sometimes there's some spiritual work that you need to do in order to cut this person off. Some of you are not into that. Some of you are religious and you feel like you can go to your God and you can talk to them. And that may work, but I know sometimes prayer doesn't just do it. You know what I'm trying to say? Let me see. These comments are coming in. Wow. All right. Let me, let me go back up. Uh, let's see what y'all are saying. What? Oh, okay. Here we go. Let me read what y'all are saying. Um, <laughs> the monster is a Scorpio. Yeah, my narc ex-best friend, he was a Scorpio. I, f I feel like there are dark-sided and light-sided in all signs. Like, I'm a Leo. There's dark-sided Leos, too. And I've been around dark-sided Leos. Like, I had a dark-sided Leo. Try to sleep with my man. That bitch was crazy. <laughs> I talked about her before. On my channel. Let me see. What are y'all saying? <laughs> I look like a doll today. Thank you, Alice. Okay, let's see. Um, it's only a head. Sex is spiritual. Yeah, I talked about that already. Your boyfriend was like that. He was a Pisces. Um, oh yeah. Um, the ex best friend was a Scorpio. And yeah, Scorpios are very um, intuitive, too. Some signs have more um, psychic abilities, so to say, I would say. Yeah. When I tried to set a picture of my ex on fire, and I didn't talk to him in a year, and like two minutes later, I had a text from him asking. <laughs> yeah, they feel that. They feel like I told, I, it was a Gemini narcissistic chick I used to hang out with and you know we hung out one night and one of the night the last time that I saw her she said don't pull back from me and I've heard other um clients tell me that they heard narcissists say that so yes because they they watch you they know your behavior if you're not you know arguing back you're being quiet they know like something's up so sometimes it's not they're just reading, they're scanning your soul. They're, they know your body language. Wait, what? Wait, what? If you dream about them, it's because they can't let you go. Yes, so this cold psychic attack. So my ex best friend, who was the narc, he, I don't want to say my, the ex, the. I keep saying the, I hate to say my because it's like you're like claiming them in a sense. But the the um, the narcissistic ex best friend, yes. Yeah, so it's something called psychic attacks. So think about it. You know how like they say the government can control your thoughts in a sense because they use these certain waves to get to you, and they have an algorithm, and they watch everything that you do, and then they, it's almost like you think of something, and then next thing you know, you go on Instagram, or you go on Facebook, and then you see an ad, and you're like, what the hell, what's going on? It's because they've watched your behavior through um, everything that you do, your debit card, your credit card, you know, the flights you book, like they know you. They have a database for you. That's how the narcissist's mind works. Almost like spiritual government in a sense. So yes, you can be psychically attacked. 
people can think of um think of you in a negative tone this is why gossip is considered witchcraft or black magic in a sense people can think negatively about you and manifest that shit into your life you get it so yes they do give you psychic attacks basically i didn't care i pushed through i was like i don't care i would wake up and he was in my dream he would be talking to me in my dream i wake up i'd be like leave me alone you gotta go it's over i don't love you it's over leave me alone and i don't have dreams about him anymore it's i haven't seen him since 2016. um but y'all yeah, know that thing called marco polo i never used the app but um one day this was probably like last year sometime i um I thought I, he came up in my mind. I was like, why is he crossing my mind? That's strange. And then I went to my email and they said, you have a message from, from so-and-so on Marco Polo. Keep in mind, I don't have Marco Polo, but I guess they can still send you a message. I ain't looking at that message. I deleted it. Two weeks go by. You have a message from so-and-so on Marco Polo. I deleted it again. <laughs> okay? It doesn't matter. And, you know, a lot of us getting get caught up in that whole destiny thing you know like oh um maybe they're coming back and you know it's meant to be or they're you know hoovering me and maybe they've changed narcissists do not change they just they just change um their position of manipulation you get it guys basically I had a narc Scorpio BFF, the worst, and I'm a Leo. I don't think Leo and Scorpio's pair. Believe it or not, I actually like Le I like Scorpios. I love Scorpio men. I get along with them. We have great conversations. They get me, but I don't think I want to be with them because they're very possessive and they're very, um, you know, do as I say, not as I do type of men. But you know, regardless of what I went through in the past with him, I, I would say I like Scorpio men, believe it or not. But they're very hard to deal with. I wonder what the psychic ability is of a cancer, my sign. Um, I know I'm an empath, but I want to get more in touch with my spiritual side. I'm not really sure about cancer spiritual gift. I'm not really sure. Um, but I feel like a cancer's gift is... Because y'all are in tune with your emotions, y'all should be able to pick up anybody's emotions. And to be the, the ability to be able to feel, that's huge. That's major, basically. A lot of people can't feel the way y'all feel. Y'all feel very intensely. So I think that is your power. And y'all could become healers, basically. Then this same ex, like four years after I burned the picture, I had a random dream of us having sex. Yeah, so that's really powerful. Like when they're having sex with you in, in, in your dream, guys, you better wake up and be praying and all that stuff. That's not a good thing. You know, I don't even, I like whenever I, I probably have had, I don't know, maybe five sex dreams in my life. I don't have sex dreams. It's not a good thing when you're having sex dreams like that. They're really psychically attacking you heavy, heavy. I actually had a sex dream about the narcissistic best friend once. And keep in mind, he's gay. And it was very, very strange. And what's weird is I had the dream while I was sleeping in the bed with him. Because, you know, he was gay. I thought he was safe. And I was in the bed sleeping with him in the in, in with me, you know, in my bed. And I actually had a sex dream um, about him. I don't think I ever told him about it. And then one day he told me he had a sex dream about me. So yes, these people they don't just attack you in this realm. They attack you spiritually in in your dream, the dream realm. Um. Yeah, so I was creeped out. I unblocked him and looked at his page, and it turned out he went to the same gym. Wow. I had a whole dream that he called me and said, Babe, you really think we over and hung up? I pressed charges, so now I'm paranoid as fuck. I thought it was just because I think of him heavy. Nope, they are tied to you. So whoever, you, your, your God you believe in, um, your ancestors, whatever route you take spiritually, 
you need to um, break these soul ties. You really, really do. That's crazy. I never heard of that. I don't think about my ex much at all, but I have a lot of dreams and nightmares about him. Yeah, sometimes um, cancers are usually psychic. I never met any psychic cancers, um, but it's possible. Um, I've met, ooh, I've met some, some psychic Pisces. Whoa. Their energy is heavy. Pisces. I'm a Virgo, Leo rising, and I, never, I usually get along with other Virgo women. Yeah, I, I, I like Virgo women. They're cool, but they're very, very sexual. <laughs> they're very sexual, and um, they get they get caught up in entanglements. Like Jada Pinkett Smith, she's a Virgo. Their 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 vagina gets them in trouble. Wow, thank you. I used to see uh, sensitivity as a weakness, but I feel like it's a gift to be able to sense. No, that's a gift. It's a demon in them. Okay, so let me get back to the topic. Um, but yeah, so you don't need these narcs because one, they're going to give you shitty gifts. <laughs> All right. Um, don't go on vacations with them. I know nobody really around the world is is going on vacations but um don't go on vacations with them i never had even if it's i'm telling you if you decide to take a trip or you're going you decide you want to go visit this particular narcissist because you want to rekindle you want to see if they've changed they didn't change they're going to ruin your holiday um i i've even you know because you know my mom passed away um in 2006 on new year's eve i've even had you know, narcs play on my emotions that I feel, you know, I feel, um, hold on a minute. I feel like I don't have a family. You know, it's gotten better, but some years are hard. Some years I'm good, some years are hard where I feel like I'm alone and I need somebody to be there with me, right? So narcissists, when they meet you, they're going to play on your emotions. So a lot of you, your parents die, your family die, your children die, whatever you, whatever the case is. So you're basically, um, whatever, how can I say, easy, uh, easy target because you feel like you don't have family. So narcissists are going to be like, hmm, okay, that's a way I can get in um get into them into the emotions and abuse them okay so i've had um some narcissists invite me like trying to make it seem like they were being kind to me and being loving to me during the holidays um and then when i get to their house they're leaving me out of things you know they're leaving me out of the games or the conversation or you know they're ignoring me once i get to the party you know they they they're over there flirting with somebody or they're just ignoring me they leave me by myself you know and it's like damn i could have just stayed home why did they even invite me to this christmas party or this new year's eve party they try to make me you know feel out of place and i've had some narcs say oh why don't you come and then i get there and they're like coupled up why didn't you tell me to bring a date? So I'm sitting there and with a whole bunch of couples. They'll use and do anything to try to make you feel um, like little. Okay. So I've been through that before where I felt little. You know, when I used to go to my narcissistic godmother's house. Um, Ex-godmother. <laughs> um, she wouldn't give me a gift. Like, everybody would be sitting around there opening five or six gifts. And I've told this story before, you know. And um, even as an adult, it was just very strange. I always bring other people gifts. I bring, I used to bring her gifts. And I would be sitting there. And I remember she would, like, run upstairs and, like, give me a shirt that she couldn't fit. So that would be, like, a gift. Like, giving me shitty gifts and stuff like that. And I will just be sitting there. And she'd be like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I never felt included. Just because you're sitting in a room full of people doesn't mean you feel loved or you feel included. No. 
they want you to feel like shit. They they get a kick out of you feeling sad around them. They love it. They love, they harness that energy. I've had some narcissists hit me up like, hey, so what are you doing? I've had narcissists say, knowing that New Year's Eve is very important to me because that is the anniversary of my mother's death. So I've had some narcissists hit me up and say, hey, let's let's hang out. Let's go to this party. Let's hang out, you know, for New Year's Eve. And then guess what? They canceled the last minute. And I'm sitting there scrambling. Oh, my God, I got to go find something to do. I need to celebrate my mother's death. They will do that shit to you. So don't fall into it. It is just an opportunity to make you feel less than. Okay? Let me see what y'all saying. They want, they want to tell you what they think you are worth to them. Yep. Yep, they target vulnerable people. Let me see. Before I left my ex, I never have. So I also had a few dreams. Okay, y'all talking about the dream shit still. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see. But, yeah, so that has been that has been my... And I now I learned my lesson. So when these knocks pop up, hey, you want to hang out? No, I'm sorry. I'm busy. I got things to do. And, you know, you could be cordial and be nice. You don't have to um, necessarily um, treat narcissists, narcissists poorly. Make them wonder, why is she acting like that? Why is she being distant? Eventually, they're going to leave you alone and go play with somebody else. But a lot of you still want to play with the narcissist. And that is the reason why. Click like for me guys when you come in the chat. That is the reason why you get so caught up. Okay. So stop going on their social media. Looking at what they're doing for the holiday. And waiting for them to say Merry Christmas to you. Oh, they didn't say Merry Christmas to me. They didn't say Happy New Year to me. So what? Good. That is your way of. Once the narc stops like contacting you that is your way to just run run like hell run for the hills that's a good thing i get scared when narcissists try to reach out to me okay i i don't like it i don't need them contacting me i'm stronger now but and a lot of narcissists don't have um you know access to me but if i had a narcissist from my past somehow find me or contact me that's not a good thing. That means that they think that I'm still slow. I'm still dumb. And they can try to use me, basically. But this is a very vulnerable time. And I just came on here to basically encourage you guys. But yes, if you want to um, send me a donation, please do so. What's going on? Who's saying what down here? Let me see. Okay. I think I'm going to have to look on my laptop to see what y'all saying. Um, but yeah, if you want to send a donation, if you want to send a donation, the um, information is in the chat, guys. If you want to book a convo with me, you can do so. We could talk about a particular zodiac. We can talk about narcissism or spiritual experiences. Fifteen dollars for thirty minutes, and um, thirty dollars for one hour. Okay, um, I'm going to put the information. Again in the chat. I need I need to get some moderators because this is crazy. <laughs> Honestly. So my cash app is gonna be there. I don't care if you feel like you have to be by yourself on the holiday, do that. That's the best thing to do because it's really not worth it. Go out, get some wine, go on YouTube, cook some food, stay home, call your friends that are positive. None of y'all got, you know, the big C. And have a have like a, a, a gathering, with, you know, with some good friends, basically. You know, don't get caught up in feeling like you have to be around the narc and i understand some of you were married to the narc so you're used to their family don't even go to that's another thing don't get caught up in going to the narcissist's family like if it's your ex-husband or your ex-wife don't go to their don't go to their house i don't even care 
If you even have to send your children by themselves, go over there or say, sorry, we're, we're quarantining. I can't go over to your house. My children can't go either. You could say that. Don't accept no gifts either. Okay, I remember when my mother divorced my narcissistic stepfather. Knowing damn well he took all her furniture, all her money out her account, all her clothes, left her with nothing, right? And knowing damn well she's not working because the, the, he didn't want her to work. So for Christmas, my mother was only able to get me one Barbie, okay? One Barbie. And here he come buying me a two, three hundred dollar coat. You know, buy me this, buy me that to make her to make her feel bad, knowing that she couldn't provide a better Christmas for me. Now, I, I, you know, I understood. You know, I was happy for my mother, but it was it was traumatic when you go from getting a hundred <laughs> gifts to, you know, getting like a few gifts, and then here he come to try to outshine my mom. So yes, narcissists will even give you expensive gifts to outshine your partner okay after they done left you high and dry you can't afford it you don't have any money or you know you already went you already went christmas shopping right so now they're gonna go oh look what daddy bought me and look what mommy bought me they're trying to outdo you it's not coming from a loving place when it comes to your children it's a competition that's it some of them just pop up only when it's the holiday Okay, and they're there for your children, but they don't love your children. They're there to make you, um, they're there to make themselves look good. I know some narcissists, they ain't nothing with their children. Then you see them on Instagram taking pictures. Oh, I love my kids. You don't see them all year on their Instagram. You don't see them all year with their children. Soon as Christmas and New Year's Eve hits, oh, I'm spending time with my children. I love my kids. No, you don't. They're lying. They do it for photo shoots. Okay. They project it. So that's why I understand how I go into people's, to these narcissists' social media and you believe what you see. It's all lies. I watch it. And then I see some narcissists, they got four or five kids, but yet you're only showing one kid on social media, but you got four or five. Which other kids? Why the other kids didn't get Christmas gifts? I'm telling you guys, pay attention to that. They think they're slick. I see all of this. Okay, let me see. I love hearing the conversations of um, uh, y'all guys, which y'all go through during the holidays and growing up. And any of you who grew up with narcissistic parents, did y'all get good gifts? How were they during the holidays? I want to know. Because my narcissistic stepfather, he was all about the looks. He needed, we had to have lights on the house. We had to have the Christmas tree. He, he loved to invite people over. He, he loved buying all the gifts and stuff like that. But it was just sad. It wasn't, the love wasn't in the house. It was all for show. The love wasn't even in the house. My mother was sad. You know, what's the sense? You cheating on your wife. You beating on your wife. You're not doing right, but you just want to make it look like... You love your children? I never even got a hug from him. Well, that's because he was waiting until I was asleep to touch me in my sleep. But you don't give your children love and affection, but yet you love, you buy them a whole bunch of gifts. So you see, you can't always get caught up in people buying you gifts or giving you, you know, doing good deeds for you. There's an agenda behind that. And a lot of you fall for that shit. Let me put my information here. PayPal. But yeah. Um, I don't know if Natalie, if you're in the chat, try to see if you can get a refund. Because you sent a $40 donation two weeks ago. And YouTube won't give it to me. Okay? So do that. Let me see what you're saying. Um, the gifts were anything opposite of what I wanted. Yo, you had a lot of gifts. My parents overcompensated with a lot ooh, with a lot of gifts. Okay. Yeah, that's the same thing I went through. I got I always had nice things. That's the same thing that happened to me. I always had nice things, but I wasn't being loved. 
you know and then from the outside people looking like oh angie got the oh you dress nice you do buying your daughter dresses from bloomingdale's and you know i always had the latest toys and stuff like that but who knew what was really going in so it's just a facade he always we had a nice house nice furniture nice car you know we always looked nice fresh to death they call it but there was no love there so yes yeah, some narcissists they they're all about the illusion okay i know other narcissists they they always wanting to buy 400 dollars sneakers they popping bottles in the club and looking all nice but really they're not nice inside you know and then some of them sleeping on the mattress it's all about the illusion. It's the faking and the fronting. That's why I be like, why are you on this social media when they lying on this social media? They're not happy. They going on they going on trips and they're not even happy. They on vacation miserable. It's all about the illusion. They post every shoe they buy every car they buy every purchase they make sometimes the shit be fake i'll be looking at people with fake designer you know i know that's fake right but yet they sleep in on a mattress their house looks a mess it's all about the illusion they're there to try to make you feel some kind of way even when they move on so yes if you broke up with a narcissist prepare if you go on their social media you're gonna see them all of a sudden, you always wanted to go to their parents' house for Christmas. Now they take their new lover. They sit in the picture or like with, with their new girl, with their new man, looking all happy with their little matching Christmas um, sweaters. Liars. They be bullshitting. I tell you, I see all of it. I be sitting back laughing. Let me see what y'all saying. But yeah, so let me tell you. This is another time, like, during this time is when you're going to really feel it because even when you're dating a narc, this is the perf. This is when you really know the truth, too. This comes out, so pay attention to this. You think you might be dating a narcissist, right? So one thing I notice is narcs, they got a lot of men. They got a lot of women. So they can't be with all of you on Christmas. You know that, right? They can't be, all of they can't be with all of you on New Year's Eve. So don't... Don't be surprised if they start an argument with you to disappear. They can't buy all of you a gift for Christmas and New Year's Eve. You know that, right? So they're going to start being distant. They're going to start acting funny around this time because they can't buy you and their other five bitches um, gifts. You know that, right? They can't buy you a gift and buy their, all their other men a gift too. So they're going to start acting really distant, acting funny and stuff like that. I, I like when I stopped, I stopped celebrating holidays about five years ago, right? So about, you know, a couple of years ago, I was um seeing a narc and he said to me, he's like, well, I don't understand. How could you not celebrate Christmas? Like Christmas is about gifts. Do you know what he did? So he was juggling. He was like, okay, so who's going to get me gifts? So he said, well, this is what I want for Christmas. So what he did was, because I don't celebrate, he disappeared on Christmas. And then he was posting on Instagram. He's sitting there. He was at the other woman's house with her children. And they had gifts all around the tree. She bought him these expensive Jordans and a leather coat. This is what they do. They're going to juggle you. They're going to make, they're going to see what, who's going to give them the most. Okay, and this happened. You wondering why they acting funny and what's going on? And it, they juggling. You not their main supply, or they trying to see who they can get the most from. Okay, so I've seen this. I even had a narc say, "You know what? Um, let's spend let's spend um, Christmas Eve together." So he was Puerto Rican. So you know, a lot of Hispanics they celebrate the Eve before Christmas, Christmas Eve. Some black people do it too, but it's it's mo you know mostly a Hispanic thing. So um, he said, "Yeah, let's you know let's celebrate Christmas Eve." And I was like, "Okay, well I don't really celebrate Christmas Eve, but sure, you know I'll hang out with you." Do you know? Twelve o'clock came, one o'clock came, two o'clock came. Do you know this Negro texted me at three o'clock in the morning? This narcissist texted me at three in the morning and said. Oh, I'm sorry I fell asleep at my mother's house. This is what they do. They want, they're going to take the holidays and they're going to make it a shit show. 
they want you know how everybody's supposed to be shopping and spending time with their family and eating and drinking and being merry oh no 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 they're gonna take the opportunity keep in mind the holidays is not about the narc your focus isn't on the narc you're thinking about shopping you're thinking about giving they want you all to themselves they want to be the focus so you're not going to be focused on them you're focused on yourself you're focused on giving and being happy and joyous and having a good time right so they're going to take the opportunity to take this holiday and try to ruin it they want that they want to harness that energy from you okay that's what they they love to do that shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. I'm telling you, I've been through it. Let's see what y'all saying. Well, let me see. It's hard to read on my laptop. It's easier to read here. The ones that match in the outfits are faking their love. Yep, they really are. Yes, spot on. They will cause an argument a couple of days. They. I'm telling you. Hi, Maria from Greece. It's amazing. I, I really do have a lot of, um, a lot of friends my subs who are from all over the world it's amazing uh let me see sorry y'all if i hear my text message because my one of my friends is texting me right now let's see i'm telling you they are so fake they fake with their children they fake with themselves Okay, so Shark, you got some nice gifts, you said, okay. So it looks like a lot of us ended up getting a lot of nice gifts, but I've had some narcs, um, like my narcissistic grandmother, she never gave me nice gifts. She would, the only thing nice she would give me is money, okay. But gifts, it will always end up being like something used, something old, something that she didn't want anymore, um, I never got any nice gifts from her, but she would buy nice gifts for the golden child. She will always give her well thought out gifts and give her things that she actually loved. But me, no, mm -mm. I didn't, I didn't get that. The only thing I got was money. And I know some of y'all will be like, oh, dang, be happy. You got the money. That's not, that's another thing, guys. Money is easy. So if somebody's rich, okay, which my you know, not grandmother was comfortable. I don't want to say she was rich, but she was comfortable. Okay. Giving somebody money, that's not, that's nothing to you. You you got plenty of money in the bank. That's nothing. You know, when a, a person who took the time out to pay attention to what you like, what you love, and they're putting in details. You know another thing? I never got a card from a narcissist. And if I did, it would be like, To Angie, love, Jack. I never got a card from a narcissist that said, Oh, you, I care for you, you're this, you're that. that you know why? Because they don't feel that way for you. Have you ever gotten loving cards or letters from narcs? I never did. Nope. They're not going to waste their time doing that with me. I've never gotten that. Let me see what y'all saying. Same here. As I got older, I got some money or clothes that didn't fit. My GC sister got the best of everything. Yes, yes, the golden child, right? My narc mom gave me gifts, and they then waited a few months, and they would disappear. Ooh, that's a real, that's a major narc. Yo, my not grandmother used to steal from me. Like, I would buy myself nice clothes, nice perfumes. And I was like, who is stealing my stuff? Yeah, she used to steal my clothes, guys. Steal my purses, my scars, my perfume, my deodorant. Used to steal all kind of shit from me. It was crazy. It was so crazy. This year is actually good that we won't be spending the holidays with these narcs in our family. Exactly, beautiful sunflowers. I like your name. That's really cute. I love sunflowers. That's my favorite flower. They have to ruin the holidays because holidays are about people coming together. Exactly, to celebrate with friends and family. And they hate that. Yes, they hate themselves. They hate their family. They don't like, they don't like to see people happy. I'm telling you. They hate seeing people happy. They really hate it. Like, 
it drives them crazy because they're not happy. They, they're the illusion of happiness. So when they're around people who, like us, who are genuinely happy, we're genuinely feeling blessed, we appreciate the little bit or the lot that we do have, they don't have... They don't have that desire. They don't feel that. So sitting around all these people who's laughing and they enjoy, you know. And another thing, you ever go into like a party with a narc, a holiday party, a regular party or whatever, and they always try to steal the show. They talking loud. They getting drunk. They making a scene. They getting jealous. They pulling on you. What you doing? Don't dance with him. What you doing over there? They'll, they're going to ruin it. They're going to find a way to ruin that night. So I'm telling you, don't go anywhere. Don't celebrate with them. Don't go on no vacations. I don't care. They say, I'm, I want to take you to Aruba. Don't go. It's a free trip. It ain't a free trip. Mm -mm. It ain't a free trip. They would love to take you out of your element and then rag you around like a doll. That's what they do. They let to play with you and break you down. <laughs> it's not even worth it. I had a narc try. I had a couple of narcs try me. Hey, hey, what you doing for the holidays? You, you want to come over? Hell no. No, thank you. I would, I'd rather party and celebrate by myself. Nope. Not going to ruin my holiday. Learned my lesson many, many times. Not going to do it to me. They think they're slick. <laughs> they really do. Uh, thank you. Love them as well. Even my cell cases of <laughs> sunflower. That's nice. They don't want you around. But don't want you to leave and be happy. Exactly. They don't want you to be happy. No. They don't. You have to understand. The narc's mindset is. I'm miserable. I hate myself. I hate who... I really truly am deep down inside. I hate my parents. I hate my family. I hate everybody. And everybody has to pay for the way I feel about myself. That is their mindset. So they're here to um, project all their emotions. They want misery likes company. So that's basically what it is. They are miserable. They're miserable. Okay. That's what's really going on. Anybody have any questions before I jump off? I just wanted to come on here quickly to encourage you to stay away from these narcs during the holidays. Um, it's not worth it. Okay, don't answer them. Them holiday booty calls. Go get your toy. Go do what you need to do to get you through this time. And when you heal and you're able to date again or when you heal and... You're able to realize you was never receiving anything from the narcissist to begin with. You wasn't receiving anything. Even when it's your your parents, okay? You're missing what? The illusion. I get it. It is tough when you don't have, you know, you don't have the family structure. That could be tough. Sometimes you're used to shit. You'd rather be used to the shit You'd rather be in a in a unhealthy situation with your family than not have a family at all. And I'm telling you, I'm living proof. I don't have family, okay? Um, everybody's dead, <laughs> okay? I have one brother who I'm not close to at all. We have different fathers, so he grew up hating our mother. So I look just like my mom, so it's almost like he hates me in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So we're not close at all. He has a family, and, you know, I live with my uncle who's schizophrenic. We can't have a, a, a close-knit relationship, you know. So I am a living proof that, yes, you can heal. You can be happy. You can you know live in that peace it's better to be at peace than to be around negative people and it's not just narcissists some people are just toxic all, overall and these are just days these are days made by man okay it's not really jesus's birthday if you believe in jesus they're created by man for economic reasons thank you so much for the compliment beautiful sunflowers and it is, it's all an illusion, 
okay? It's just a day. I get it. And it's sad that a lot of people commit suicide around Christmas and New Year's Eve. And it's, and it's sad. It's really sad because it is an illusion. And I'm not going to say I don't have bad days. You know, my mother chose to be born on Valentine's Day and died on New Year's Eve. Could you imagine that? It is tough. And it has been tough for me. Um, you know, missing her. This is the year, I think, 14, you know, so it is really rough. So I went 14, almost 14, 13 um, years without my best friend, my mother. Okay, so no birthdays with her, no Christmases, no Thanksgivings, no New Year's Eve. Okay, so if I could do it, y'all can do it too. All right. You know, even though I am dating somebody, it's still a new relationship, you know. And you know how, like, in a new relationship sometimes, they don't know if they want to include you in with their family. They don't know that that's the kind of commitment that they want with you. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? And it happens, you know. We've only been dating for about four or five months, and I get that. Some people are um, very scared to love deeply, basically to have you enter their life basically you know what i'm saying and 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 that's fair that's fair so i really do feel like i'm a living testament i'm not here to you know tell you guys uh a lie i'm telling you you could do it these are days created by man to get you caught up okay and i know some of you come from very big families i never had a big family so i don't even know what that feels like so it is going to be like a drug withdrawal to why you, when you can't be with your your family, but you don't get anything from these narcissists. It's, it's only an illusion. Okay, you're doing good, Angie. Good to see you. I've been yourself for about two and a half years. Awesome. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Unfortunately, my mom is the narc. I'm glad you had that love with your mom. She controls the rest of my family. <sighs> your son, my oldest son. I love you. You just made me comforted a long day. Aw. Hey, Sebastian. How you doing? <sighs> I'm telling you, it's like... It's, it's crazy, you know, for people to make you feel that kind of way. Like, you know, for New Year's Eve, I said, you know what? I'm not staying in New York. I still had, I still had on um, flight credit, so I was able to buy my plane ticket and just I had to add a couple of dollars to it, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go to Houston and I'm gonna um, just chill and be in nature. It's a little bit warmer there than New York, so if you can't afford to go away, go away. If you're not scared to fly right now or get in your car and go to the next town. Do that. Do whatever you can. Go in the woods if you have to. Go to a beach. And have a little picnic. You know what I'm saying? Do that. If you are in a cold climate place, go look at lights. Go look at the Christmas tree. Find something to do. Get out the house. Do something. Start a new tradition. You know? You have now got to make new memories without these individuals. You have got to. And don't go on social media. Unless you're posting a picture of you looking happy, don't go on there. I'm telling you. It's not It's not worth it. Okay? I had through the years, you know, I had to find new things to do. I remember when I was friends with a narcissistic best friend, um, we had we had a tradition. We made sure that we were together every Christmas. Every we'd even try to see each other for our birthdays, okay? And that was our tradition. You know, we, we, we used to wear the matching outfits and all that, buy the Christmas sweaters. And we would go to Christmas parties. If not, we would just, you know, be at my house and get drunk and cook and have a good time. We always made sure that we did something, you know. So I had to break that. So that was tough for me. He became my family when my mom died. So this narc made all these holiday... He basically took what I, the pain that I had from losing my mother, losing my family, basically, and he used that against me in a sense by getting me so attached. So yes, it was difficult to let that friend go because he became my family, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I didn't, I didn't um, 
let go of holidays um, because of him leaving my life. No, I didn't do that. I let go because of my spiritual beliefs. I don't believe in pagan holidays. <laughs> so I had to let that go. And that also made it easier. So some of you, that can be another method that y'all can do. Get into spirituality where we don't follow these pagan holidays. And next thing you know, you're like, damn. Let me tell you, every year my friends say, every year, Angie, you say you're so happy you don't celebrate holidays because you don't got to shop for anyone. And it's true. I have a niece. She's 15 years old. I give her money. And I tell her every year, sorry, baby girl, I don't celebrate holidays, okay? So some of you may need to let that go in order so you can heal, so you can move on. It'll be easier for you to move on. So that might be the trick. <laughs> I don't have the Christmas shop for anyone. You know, sometimes I might observe Kwanzaa, but Kwanzaa is about giving natural gifts, you know, making homemade things, giving fruits, giving vegetables, natural things, you know. You can give gifts to people throughout the whole year. It doesn't have to be Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, you know? But yeah. Um, let me see what y'all saying. Might leave a narc organization. Ooh, I almost dropped you. Let's see. Um, we're grieving what we wish we had. Yep, that is very true. How could it how it could have been sending my love and best wishes to you guys? Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Char. Yes, I went to Virginia Beach for the, my birthday last month. That's beautiful. Virginia Beach is nice. I have some. I have a a cousin that live out there. Maybe me and her don't get along, but yeah, she's out there. <laughs> Thanksgiving was my first holiday alone. Oh shoot. Um, but I am ready to try again on Christmas, and I'm up for the challenge and sort of excited. Plus. How they pay at work is incredible. Exactly. We have to look at, like, the best. And keep in mind, we need to just be celebrating that we are alive. This, this government out there trying to kill us, guys. We had a very challenging year. We had a very challenging year. How about we just celebrate life? Don't worry about Christmas and, you know, sweet, white, or baby, or black Jesus. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Let's celebrate life, okay? Um, you know, buy yourself something. How about that? You made it through this crazy-ass year. We're going into 2021. You don't know what's really in store for 2021. And that's what we need to be focused now. I don't even think, like, these traditions need to even be around anymore. Because they don't hold any purpose anymore. You get it? It's just... The world has forever shifted spiritually, astrologically, spiritually, all of that. It's just shifted. So this year, if you feel like, damn, I don't have anyone to celebrate these holidays with, make it your own tradition. Okay, celebrate that you didn't get sick this year. You know, you made it through. Uh, I honestly don't know how I did Christmas this long. 39 years I did it for. <laughs> exactly. It's a waste of time if you ask me. Uh, stuff I suffer from PTSD from those monsters. Yeah. I think we all do. Um, sometimes I get flashbacks of things that I've been through. Or I get flashbacks of like things that some of the narcissists have said to me. And I'm like, whoa, why do I still think about that and why did I why do I feel like I still wanted to be accepted you know like when my narc grandmother died and yeah I did get her house and yeah she did leave me a little bit of money you know and insurance when she passed it didn't mean shit to me I, I shed a tear because I was like, wow, I always wanted to be loved and accepted. But the truth is the narcissist cannot love you. They cannot accept you. They're not going to validate you. They don't even love themselves. They How are they going to validate you and accept you when they can't even love themselves? They have nothing to give. But y'all get confused because it looks like they're loving someone else when it's not. They're only giving them what they need to give them in order to use and abuse those individuals. You get it? So if you're thinking, oh, but they love the golden child or the golden grandkid or whoever. They're really not loving them. They're only giving them what they need so that way they can abuse them. Do you get it, guys? And that we replay in our mind and we're confused about it. 
when I get flashbacks, I want revenge. <laughs> and I say, Jesus, take the will. I'm past the revenge stage. Thank God. You know, I'm in the pity stage where I actually pity the narcs. I'm like, they ain't shit. Their life is miserable. They don't know themselves. They hate themselves. And guess what? I got away. And they probably be sitting there looking at my social media or hearing about my life through the grapevine that I am happy without them. So I'm in the pity stage of the narc where I'd be like, ugh, it's terrible for them. Sucks to be you. You lost a good one. Anyone who lost me as a friend or a lover, damn. Are you crazy? That's how you need to be bigging yourself up. Okay, like, do you know who I am? I'm a goddess. All right, I can love unconditionally. You know, I'm genuine. I'm not a thief. I'm not a cheater. I am a person who will take you and can rebuild you and make you a better person. So if you, and I'm generous on top of that, and I'm fun, all right? So look at all the wonderful qualities you have and then look at them. You're not getting shit from them. They're nothing. The only thing half of them sometimes come with is some good penis or some good punani and that's it. And sometimes it ain't even that good. It's the illusion that it is good. So I'm in the pity stage when it comes to narcissists. Wow, they don't have the equipment. They don't have the emotional um, system, stability to even be around a person like me. Okay? Guys, don't forget to donate to me. I really appreciate it. I don't care if it's $5, $10. I will definitely take it. Um, if you want to book a conversation with me, it's $15. For 30 minutes, $30 um, for one hour, okay? If you scroll through, you'll see my cash app. I'm going to put it again um, before I get off here. And I also have Zelle and um, PayPal as well, too, if you want to book a convo or donate to me. Um, but, yeah. Try to get to the pity stage of realizing that they lost you. They lost a good one. That, that they'll never be you. They'll never be you. Hi, Melissa. You finally made it. You, you are very late. <laughs> you were super late. I'm about, I'm about to get out of here. Hey, Lori. I have so much peace now that I don't celebrate Christmas. Exactly. I don't even think about it. I be, you know, I be forgetting. I was in the um, the store the other day. I was in um, Kohl's, and I was just like, "Why is all this Christmas stuff?" I be forgetting about Christmas, guys. I really, really do. I be like, "Oh, oh, let me. I want to go here," and I realize, "Oh shoot, it's the holiday." I really forget. There's, there was times in the past where. I was about to like go to, go out somewhere and I'm like, wait a minute, why is everybody closing down? Why is everything closing so early? Oh, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, it's Christmas. You can really change your mind and live in a whole different realm, even though the world is on a different system. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this to people who still celebrate. If you choose to still celebrate holidays, that doesn't make you less than, you know? I'm just saying that letting go of these holidays will cease a lot of the pressure off of you too. I didn't realize that um, until later on when I realized, oh wow, this, I don't need to feel like I need to be included because I don't even celebrate that shit no more. <laughs> I don't even miss it because I don't, I don't even celebrate it anymore, you know? that That's not even in my, my mind anymore. So that's a good tactic too, to let go. Um, thank you, Char. Enjoy your holidays, too. I, I'm sure I'm going to come back on. They do this thing. They send you a smiley emoji online, and you feel how fake it is. Yes, they are so fake. I hate that damn Christmas music. You know what's funny, guys? I love, even though I don't celebrate Christmas, I love Christmas movies, believe it or not. Because I actually had a good childhood when it came to Christmas. I, I, you know, it, it sends me back. My mother hated Christmas because she 
had horrible Christmases growing up with her narc father. So um, my mother hate my mother hated Christmas, but she loved to like give me gifts and see how um, happy I was. But she had trauma with her her Christmases. But I had good Christmases when I was a kid, believe it or not. Yes, hugs to you on sharing that gem, right? So right, I agree. So demanding and financially draining. Yep. That's like, that's really my advice to you guys. Like, let it go. And it's really not, it's really not that deep. I'm telling you. Um, let me see. And, but yeah, um, I don't know if Natalie is in here. But Natalie, try to get that refund that you sent me a donation two weeks ago. Because YouTube, um will not give it to me. I emailed you, but I didn't get an email back from you. I'm just letting you know that now, guys. I mean, letting you know that now, Natalie. And thank you again, Moses. You always sending me donations, but you, you don't answer your email. What's going on with that? But yeah, so that's about it, guys. I'm going to tune out of here. Um, if anybody wants to send me a donation, please do so. If you want to book a convo, um, you can do so. The information is in the chat, and I'll put it in the, um, the description bar once I log out of the live. Stay narc-free. Stay off these narcissists' um, social media. Don't text them. I don't care how bored you are, how horny you are. Make new traditions. Don't accept any gifts. And you know what you should do? I don't care how nice the gift is. Take the gift the narcs give you and give it to a homeless person or donate it to a shelter. Do something like that, okay? Do whatever you need to do. You don't need to have anything the narcs give you in your home, okay? items objects they hold spirits okay so if you keep looking at this individual's you know gift that they gave you you're going to feel a connection to them okay let it go also if there's things in your home that the narcissist has given to you sell it i threw out everything when you know narcissists have given me i threw all that shit out because that's energy okay objects hold energy Throw those gifts out or give them away. Go on eBay, go on Amazon and sell them. Okay? Sell the gifts if you need the money back and you can buy it again and you have new energy. All right? I don't care how nice it is. Get rid of these gifts. Get rid of these items these narcissists have given to you. This is why I'm like, how can people use old furniture? Because that holds spirits. Okay? Items, clothing, even. That's why I stopped buying clothes from thrift shops because whoever owned it has their spirit on it okay so you have to be very careful with that um but have a good if i don't come back on here before christmas have a good christmas um i'm just going through seasonal depression and uh, you know this month is very rough for me because my mom passed away on New Year's Eve. And it's, you know, some years are easier. But this year, because this was a crazy ass year, it's really rough. Like, I really wish my mother was still alive, you know. So, I don't mean to disappear in you guys. But I wanted to just come in and encourage you to just behave yourselves, okay. Stay knock free. Let me see if anyone's saying anything. Okay, have a good night, everybody. I love you. And don't forget to donate and don't forget to book. Take your healing very seriously and don't forget to book with me. Um, but yeah, so if you want to donate, it's Cash App, the light, dollar sign, the light 777. Or I have Zelle and I have PayPal, Neo, Angie, 3000 at yahoo.com. If you don't hear a response from me, email me and let me know that you made that donation or you made a booking and we can set up your conversation. All right. So enjoy your holidays, guys. And I love you and I really appreciate you guys. Take care.